Hello, beautiful soul. It's Kirsten with Kismet, and I gotta tell you, I've been doing these videos. Oh, there's over 50 of them, believe it or not. I can't believe that either. And so I'm repeating, right, some of the affirmations, which when I see them, different things come up for me the second time. So it's kind of like a re-gift. And so today I pulled this beautiful card, and I thought, oh, it's like seeing an old friend. It was just so nice because the message is so spot on. And I'll just share it with you now and be quiet. So here we go. I choose to be real, not perfect. Oh, the perfection trap. It is a trap. It is this ideal that either we have created or someone else has created of a utopia. Perfection is not real. It's not real. You'll never achieve perfection. And because you'll never achieve it and you constantly strive for it, you will always be disappointed, you'll always be stressed, and you will always feel like you don't measure up. And the irony is, there are no perfect people. And if you're putting on that mask of perfection, most people can't relate to perfection. So they choose not to be your friend. They choose not to engage. You may be putting people off because they think you're intimidating or you're aloof. People prefer real. People prefer real. When you think about your closest friends, think about them. Take a moment and think about them. Think about what you share with them. You share your hopes and your dreams and your struggles. You make yourself vulnerable to your closest friends. There's a level of trust there. And have you ever noticed after you've had that vulnerable, emotional connection to someone where you share an ugly part of you? a part that may be scared, a part that may be judgmental, a part that may be kind of icky, or something you've done that you feel guilt or blame or shame around. If they're truly a friend, they embrace you, they champion you, they support you, and they connect to you on a spiritual level not because in that moment you're perfect, but because you're real and they can relate because they've done things that they feel blame, shame, and guilt about. They may be judgmental at times. They may have made a mistake. They may be scared too. And so they can relate to who you are. They understand those emotions. People don't understand perfect because it only exists in an ideal. So instead of striving to be perfect, to not make any mistakes, embrace who you are. Take off the mask that you're showing the world. Be authentic. Be genuine. If you like to wear striped leggings and a checked shirt, Go for it, because people will accept it when they see the joy on your face. If you are in love with the Garfield cat cartoon, and you have his picture on a calendar and a mug, and you want to talk about him, talk about him. If you are a crystal freak, and you think crystals are the best things in the world, and that they can help people, and you want to share your love of them and your knowledge, do it. Don't shut down 
who you are and pretend to be somebody else. That type of fraud, people can sense. It's not real. Be real. Embrace who you are. Be genuine. Because choosing real over perfection, that's where the good juicy stuff is. That's where those friendships come from. That's where that emotional connection to the world comes from. That's where you grow. That's where you bloom. And besides that, who you are is absolutely enough. I'm going to say that again because it's important and I want you to listen to me. Who you are is absolutely enough. So this week as you go out into the world, embrace who you are. Choose to be real and not perfect. You'll find that all your relationships will just bloom and grow as a result of it. This is Kirsten with Kismet, wishing you a week of love and light. Take care.